Wild Card Line, you're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Good morning. Good morning, Art. Thanks for uh, holding me over here. All right, you're going to have to kind of yell at us. You're not too loud. Uh, where are you? Okay, my name is Brad, and uh, I'm in Paulsville, Washington. All right. Uh, Brad, what's on your mind? Hi, Father Malachi. Hi. Uh, well, bear with an amenity. You've been a hero for, uh, well, since 1974. Thank you very much. It's a very nice thing for a poor old guy like me to hear. <laughs> you must admit, Art. Indeed. Uh, well, now to my question. Uh, I consider myself to be something of a seeker, and in recent years I've uh, kind of stumbled across something. Uh, I've read through another scholar by the name uh, of, of Zachariah Sitchin. Yes. And uh, uh, he became uh, 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 such a center of attention for me that I went to the trouble of... Uh, trying to learn some of these uh, languages myself so I could read it in the original. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that I found uh, reminded me a lot of what I was seeing in the Old Testament. Yeah. And uh, am I uh, uh, practicing something that is akin to uh, apostasy here? Or what, what's going on with this? Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Or is, or, or is there a connection here? You, you must tell us what you're seeing. Well, uh, I see the story of Abraham being told, uh -huh. but in a different uh, way. Father Abraham... And uh, I see it being told from the viewpoint of uh, someone who is uh, being visited by something that uh, may or may not be of this earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, treating with it as if it is a living thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, it causes me concern on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, I, I, as it is something that is written in clay yes. and something that is carried forward, mm -hmm. I, uh, I really don't see Mr. Splitfoot in it. <laughs> Neither do I, actually, Brad. <laughs> Neither do I. I'm cautious in my, in my adhesion to it. But I, 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 uh, I don't see Mr. Spitfoot in his either. I'm just terribly cautious until I can get what we moderns call facts, you know. But uh, I agree with you. It's, uh, but it's, uh, I'm very wary of it all uh, because I want to be sure of the facts. That's all. All right. Um, you know, so many things seem possible that a casual observer and thinker of uh, our Lord just wouldn't imagine uh, to be possible little children condemned to hell by their parents who know how to do it and yep, yep. Uh, and what you just mentioned. Father, hold on. We're at the bottom of the hour. It does move quickly, doesn't it? From the high desert, I'm Art Bell, and this is Coast to Coast AM. A voice. So here we go. Yes. A wild card line. You're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Hi. Hello, Art. It's Steve from Vancouver, British Columbia. Hi, Steve. Yeah, I'm listening hey. on CFUN. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I just want to say, Art, that radio doesn't get any better than this, your show tonight. <laughs> well, um, yes, it, 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 uh, I agree with you. Uh, Father Martin, uh, thank you for being you. Thank you, and thank thanks. you for bringing such comfort to me and so many other listeners in this time of stressful times. Thank you for saying that, sir. Um, I, I feel that so deeply. I, I have a question. Yes. Um, can we as a conscious feeling majority ameliorate the negative devil influence scenario of today? Yes, we can by prayer, and by fasting, and by having the grace of God in us. If we partake of the sacraments, we'll get that sanctifying grace, and we can mitigate it. The only restriction is that um, today there is no real coagulated community of believers 
Instead, now we're broken, in, uh, broken up into small communities, and it's usually one-on-one. -on -one. That's our isolation today, because uh, in every country you can find, there are three components. There's the government, which is very important today in every country. Secondly, there's the business community. And thirdly, then there's a, a gaggle of organizations, NGOs, non-governmental organizations, everything from Mothers Against uh, Drunk Driving uh, over to the International Firemen's Association and the various churches, including the Roman Catholic Church. And we're all in the public square uh, competing for men's attention. No longer is the church or a church or the church no longer has any privileged position in our modern public square. In fact, in the Constitution of the United States, whatever about Canada, the Supreme Court has said twice in the last four years that anybody who enters the public square in America with a uh, religious ideology, he has no place. It has no place in the public square. It's a private matter. So that's the difference. Well, we can make a difference by having the grace of God and by our prayer and fasting. We can cast out devils. We can win. We can merit for other people. We can convert them by our prayers because that's what Jesus died for. And that's why we have the saints and the angels. But well, today is an uphill battle. I sure hope that we can, Father Martin, but it seems that there is such a, an insidious force. There is. Today is against us. I know that. I know that. And you have and, to be very and, strong. And, and the majority of the people are good people. They are. Why can we not um, purge this uh, negative influence from us? Well, you're asking me then, that's a very concrete question, really. And it's this, what has happened? in the last 30, 35, 40 years. Uh, what I think has happened, the Roman Catholic Church, of which I'm a priest, and uh, uh, a faithful priest, and I say it deliberately so that you'd know I'm not in any sense rebelling against it. I'm a part of it, and I say my mass every morning and uh, do the usual things the priest does. Um, the, the fact is, I think that once the church men of the Roman Catholic Church drifted into grave error, after the Vatican Council, I think Christ said, Okay, you want to go that way? All right. But I'm not with you. And he withdrew his grace. And therefore we have this devastation of Catholic marriages, this devastation of Catholic religious orders, the major ones above all, Jesuits, Dominicans, Carmelites, uh, Holy Ghost Fathers, all devastated and the lack of cohesive theological thinking and philosophical thinking in the church is, 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 is glaring and discouraging. Christ withdrew his grace. Uh, and that was his decision in view of our infidelity because our churchmen were unfaithful and are unfaithful to him. I think that's where we are, but we still have, can have his grace. We can receive his body and blood. And we can uh, protect, be protected by the angels and the saints. But now we're in a battle. There's a, a bloody battle going on. It seems that way. It does. It is that way. It is that way. And even, even our Lord himself, the gentle Jesus, said, if we didn't mitigate those times, even the just would not remain in faith. But it, it, it doesn't it seem so unfair that the great majority of the people are good people? It does. Uh, we seem to have a minority it does. who are uh, I know. putting this great scourge upon the earth. I know, I know, I know it does seem that. And by the way, millions, the Catholic Church now reckons it's a, it's a billion plus membership. But millions of those have been led by the nose out of Catholicism into an apostasy and they don't know it. But that happened in England from, 18, from 1529 on. Millions of uh, English men and English women lived and died in grave error because of the leadership of a few men. So it... it God... I, I don't know. My friend from the Bronx always says that God has a funny sense of humor. 
Mm. And uh, this is not a sense of humor, but he has a way of treating things, and he 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 deals with each individual so delicately, tenderly, compassionately, but he deals with groups of people according to certain laws, and he always observes those laws, and that means that the innocent are punished with the with the with the with the evil. Christ Himself, on His way to Calvary. The women of Jerusalem who knew him and whose children he had cured and taught were weeping about him. And he said, don't cry for me. No, I'm just the greenwood. And look what they're doing to me. What do you think they're going to do to you? <laughs> you know. All right, caller. Thank you. Right. Thank uh, you very much indeed. Thank you. Um, 